Apache Spark is an open source parallel processing framework to run large scale data pipeline in batch or stream. It has become an industry standard to know if you work in data. It started in 2012 and is backed up by a company named Databricks. Spark was meant to be the saver, or rather the killer, of the painful MapReduce. Faster and way easier to develop. But hey, what's MapReduce anyway? Don't worry, we'll get there. Let's first understand how Spark works and its components. Let's say you have some data to read. A book. You want to count the number of times the word however occurred in this book. Well, as a one person, one machine, this is gonna take time to process. Spark enables you to distribute your codes against a cluster machine so that processing gets faster. In our example, it comes down to have multiple people, each one called a worker node. Each one is gonna receive a part of the book, a chapter, and for that chapter only, count the number of times the word however occurred. You, as an orchestrator, a writer driver in Spark terms, will have to sum all the intermediate results to get the final one. MapReduce, by the way, had a similar approach but was writing all the intermediate result to disk which was really slow. Spark has a different approach and store everything in memory. So what about the development experience? Spark has different level of APIs to manipulate the data. RDD, which is a low level API, data frame, the most commonly used and dataset and other libraries like machine learning or SQL. Spark is built in Scala, which is a strong statically typed programming language based on Java, but you can actually use many other languages like Python, R, .NET or SQL to develop your pipeline. Initially, a lot of people jumped on the Scala boat. There was a lot of hype around it and was way more performant. But with the rise of Python these past years in the data world, it forced Databricks to provide similar performance on the Python API. And about that, Databricks reported that most of the Spark API calls are done through Python with 45% and SQL taking second place with 43%. Spark integration ecosystem is pretty big. It can read and write to a lot of data formats and a lot of databases. Classically, you will use the internal file system, which is called Parquet, and write this one to an object storage like S3 or Google Cloud Storage. Parquet has become an industry standard in file format and is very well optimized for reading and analytics purpose. Another data format rising is Delta, but that would take an entire video to talk about ACID file format. But how to deploy Spark? You have plenty of options to run a Spark pipeline in the cloud as all major cloud providers support it and Databricks support its own version with additional features. It's worth to mention that Spark initially required its own cluster resource manager called Yarn. No, not the Node.js package manager. But since Spark 2.4, Spark on Kubernetes is supported and basically you can run Spark anywhere you have a Kubernetes cluster. On top of that, some of the cloud providers now offer a full Spark serverless experience, so you don't have even to manage or provision a cluster. This is abstracted for you. A couple of services that support Spark, you have AWS ClueJob serverless, AWS EMR, GCP Dataproc, and also GCP Dataproc serverless now, and Databricks, which will run basically on your AWS, Azure or GCP account. So should you use Spark in the first place? You may have realized now that Spark comes with a certain overhead. It was meant to process data in a distributed way on multiple machines, and even if you can run Spark as a standalone on a single machine, it's still an overkill in this situation. That's why other processing framework a bit more light, like Pandas, Vex or Dask, is sometimes a better option in this case. My name is Medio and that was Spark in 4 minutes. If you want to dive into an actual code example, I will link a Spark bullet play that I have on my GitHub. Let me know in the comment which kind of topic you would like me to cover next. And may the data be with you.